Happy holidays from all of us here at Monarch Media. I'm Ted Alexander. When you think about Christmas, you think about Dave Twardzik. Look at this guy, the jolly old did, elf himself. I, I dressed up in my Christmas black. <laughs> He's wearing his, <laughs> his I got coal for every one of my Christmases sweater. Uh, Dave, thank you for joining us. Well, you are welcome. Are we done? <laughs> what a game <laughs> against the College of Charleston to wrap up non-conference play. We knew since they play so many people and crash every board, it was going to be a bloodbath, and it was. It sure was. And the nice thing is the officials let them play, even though we shot a ton of free throws. But that's kind of a byproduct of the way Charleston plays. They're very physical on the defensive end. But to be out rebounded the way we were, second chance points killed us, points in the paint killed us. But still, it came down to the last minute and 20 seconds when we made a, a, a little mistake that cost us the game. Monarchs led by as many as seven in the first half, but trailed at intermission 41 to 39, a high scoring game. Charleston averages 80 points a game. Monarchs came in averaging 63 a game. Old Dominion fell behind 12 points with 846 to go in the second half, but didn't hang their hats. They didn't look for the figgy pudding or the Christmas presents or whatever. They got to work. Well, you talk about defense leading to offense, and that's what turned it around about the five, almost the six minute mark. We made two defensive plays that uh, block shots that ignited fast break and got us going. 12 point deficit turns into a two point Old Dominion lead. Then the game's tied 80 80. Down the stretch we go. Second chance points from the Cougars. Monarchs had a chance at the buzzer, but it didn't happen. Yeah, and Jeff talked about questioning his decision should I call a timeout or not. You're damned if you do, damned if you don't. If it works, it's great. If it doesn't, you're second-guessing yourself. But I think it was the right decision. Try to get something before Charleston can set up their defense. Normally in those situations, I really like not calling the timeout. Just let it roll, see what happens. And they had plenty of time, just couldn't get anything happening. No, the first look was inside to Kalu, and, and to Charleston's credit, they took that away. And then all of a sudden now it's, it's on the perimeter. And, and C.J. Kaiser tried to create something by himself. Tough shot and just didn't go in. Final score, College of Charleston 82, Old Dominion 80. Monarchs wrap up non-conference play with a 5-8 and eight record, and off we go into Conference USA. And, and please do me one favor. Don't wear that tie anymore. I mean, it's very appropriate, but a bit much. And perhaps at some point in the next 76 hours <laughs> no. or so, his heart will grow <laughs> two sizes too large because right now we know. <laughs> Happy holidays, Dave. Ted. Back at you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the thing is, even at this time, I know he does not mean it. He does not want me to have a happy holiday. He does not want me to go eat figgy pudding. Uh, what is figgy pudding? I mean, you've mentioned that a couple times. I have no idea what you're talking about. It's and nasty I bet... stuff. It's nasty stuff. <laughs> then why would you bring it up? Because I had it at your house once, and <laughs> it's the last time I was invited. Uh, happy holidays. Did we mention the final score? I think you did. Good night.